organ donation, whether it's kidney, liver or anything like that, is of course a noble act. One life can be saved. But when we take organs of convicted prisoners after execution, it becomes a controversy. It becomes a controversy the world over. What do you think about this kind of an act? Your opinions can be mailed to us. Welcome once again to News Analysis. News Analysis is a weekly magazine on current affairs. To begin with, the main points in a nutshell. Somalia pirates European Union approves attack on land bases. Trayvon Martin, Obama's teenager's death, a tragedy. Norway plans revise health law ahead of Breivik trial. China to end organ donations from executed prisoners. Japan readies anti-missile defense for North Korea rocket. Indian man waits six decades for a university award from Lahore. Now the news in detail. Somalia pirates European Union approves attack on land bases. The European Union has agreed to expand its mission against Somali pirates by allowing military forces to attack land target as well as those at sea. In a two-year extension of its mission, European Union defense ministers agreed warships could target boats and fuel dumps. Press reporters says the move is a significant step up in operations, but one that also risks escalation. Up to 10 European Union naval ships are currently on patrol of the Horn of Africa. They have po policed shipping routes and protected humanitarian aid since 2008. The extension means they will stay until at least December 2014. An European Union official said the new mandate would allow warships or helicopters to fire at fuel barrels, boats, trucks or other equipment on beaches, according to Agence France Presse. Spanish Foreign Minister Jos Manuel Gracia Marghello told reporters the European Union plan is to allow attack on land installation when ships are assaulted at sea, adding that much care would be taken to avoid civilian deaths. A two-decade war has wrecked Somalia, leaving it without proper government. Government only controls the capital Magadishu, while Al-Shabaab militants who recently joined with Al-Qaeda told large swathes of territory. The European Union says the main tasks of the mission are protection of vessels of the World Food Program, delivering food aid to displaced people in Somalia, and the fight against piracy of Somali coast. Today's important decision extends Operation Atlanta mandate for two more years and allows it to take more robust action on Somali coast, the European Union's foreign policy had Catherine Ashton said in a statement. The statement said European Union would be working with Somali's transitional federal government and other Somali organizations to support their fight against piracy from the coastal area. Brussels also said Somali government had told the UN Secretary General that it accepted its new offer of collaboration. The statement also said a budget of 14.9 million euros is provided for common cause of the prolonged mandate. In February, world leaders agreed to boost support for measures to fight piracy, terrorism and political instability in Somalia at a conference held in London. The summit agreed a seven-point plan promising more humanitarian aid, support for African Union peacekeepers and better international coordination. On Wednesday, British woman Judy Tebu was freed by Somali pirates after being held hostage for more than six months. The Times newspaper claims her family paid a ransom of $1.3 which was dropped from an aircraft. 
Trayvon Martin, Obama's teenager's death a uh, tragedy. U.S. President Barack Obama has said the tragedy of an unarmed black teenager shot dead in Florida should prompt some national soul searching. The death of Trayvon Martin, 17, gunned down by a neighborhood watchman who was not charged as he claimed self-defense, has sparked outrage. If I had a son, he would look like Trayvon, President Obama told reporters at the White House. Rallies have been held this week in Florida and New York to demand justice. I can only imagine what these parents are going through, and when I think about this boy, I think about my own kids, Mr. Obama said on Friday. I think they are right to expect that all of us as Americans take this with the seriousness that it deserves, and we are going to go to the bottom of what happened. Every parent in America should be able to understand why it's absolutely imperative that we investigate every aspect of this and everybody pulls together, federal, state and local, to figure out exactly how this tragedy happened, he added. In Florida, a law known as Stand Your Ground can prevent criminal or civil prosecution when deadly force is used in self-defense. But there have been mounting calls for the arrest of George Zimmerman, 28, who opened fire on the teenager on 26 February in the Orlando suburb of Sanford. A grand jury is considering whether to charge Mr. Zimmerman and will hear evidence on the case on April 10. The Department of Justice and FBI have launched a civil rights investigation into the conduct of the local police department. But obviously, this is a tragedy. Uh, I can only imagine what these parents are going through. Uh, and when I think about uh, this boy, uh, I think about my own kids. And you know, I think every parent in America uh, should be able to understand uh, why it is absolutely imperative that we investigate every aspect of this and that everybody pulls together, federal, state, and local, uh, to figure out exactly how this tragedy happened. Uh, so uh, I'm glad that uh, not only is the Justice Department looking into it, I understand now that uh, the governor of the state of Florida has formed a task force to investigate what's taking place. Uh, I think all of us have to do some soul searching to figure out how does something like this happen. And that means that we examine. Uh... Norway plans revised health law ahead of Breivik trial. Norway is rushing through laws to ensure that Anders Bering Breivik is kept in a new top security hospital if court finds him criminally insane. The law would allow patients to be locked up for as long as police found they were in danger of being attacked by someone seeking revenge. Patients would not be kept in the unit for more than six months at a time. After that period, medical staff would need approval to extend the stay or transfer the patient to another unit. This mental health bill has been in the making since 2010. But last year's 22nd July attacks accelerated the process and resulted in an urgent review of the health care system with respect to violent and dangerous patients. The legislation is designed to accommodate the care of Breivik in the event a verdict finds him criminally insane. In high security prison in Norway, we are Breivik is being held. The bill says the law would apply in special circumstances whereby a patient may have committed grave atrocious and offensive acts such as mass murder. Norway's health minister Ingrid Strom Eriksson said the government has to act before Breivik comes to trial. It's my duty to ensure we have mental health care legislation in place to protect everyone's safety, he says. The bill has been subject to a very brief consultation period of three weeks, which ended on 22nd March. Following a review by the government, the Norwegian parliament will now consider the bill. 
China to end organ donations from executed prisoners. China has pledged to end the practice of taking organs from executed prisoners within the next five years, state media reports. Officials say the country would instead rely on a new national donation system for organ transplants. Prisoners account for two-thirds of China's transplant organs, according to previous estimates from the state media. Human rights groups say death row inmates are pressured to donate organs. China denies such allegations. Correspondents say that China has long said it intends to reduce reliance on prisoners for organ donation, but the sheer volume of organs needed may make this difficult to achieve within the time frame set out. Official figures from the health ministry show that about 1.5 million people need transplants, but only 10,000 are performed annually by state-run agency Xinhua says. Huang Jiefu, Vice Minister of Health, was quoted by Xinhua as saying that the trial system for public organ donation has been launched in some areas. The pledge to abolish organ donations from condemned prisoners represents the resolve of the government, he said. He added that organ donations from prisoners were not ideal because infections are usually high. Affections of the long-term survival rates of those who undergo the transplants. Right groups estimate that China puts to death thousands of prisoners a year. Official figures, however, remain a state secret, according to reporters. He adds that the country faces a severe shortage of organ donors, partly because many people do not want to donate organs due to the cultural belief that they should be buried as a whole. This has led to the thriving black market officials outlawed organ trafficking five years ago, but it still remains a problem. The Red Cross Society of China has also said that guidelines would be issued regarding financial aid to families of the deceased organ donors to help curb the illegal organ trade.